Thousands of years ago, the pyramids existed around the world, built by hundreds of different cultures. Uh, mainstream archaeologists will tell you this is a coincidence. I say no. I say they were a global, part of a global civilization. Uh, much as we have skyscrapers around the globe today built out of steel and glass, that's no coincidence. It's because we uh, communicate with each other and share our ideas. The most impressive stones are found in Baalbek, Lebanon. They weigh over a thousand tons. Uh, how they move those, a complete mystery. Uh, another thing that points to the global civilization are these strange uh, polygonal construction walls. Uh, jigsaw shaped pieces fit precisely out of huge stones and hard stones. This style of construction is found around the world also and how they coincidentally all came up with the same super difficult way of building is beyond me. And this is Coral Castle, the only megalithic site in recent times, built in the early 1900s by Ed Leeds Skelman. Uh, blocks up to 30 tons. He had a quote of saying he uh, knew the secrets of the ancient pyramid builders. I first learned of Coral Castle in the 80s uh, in search of Castle of Secrets, Mr. Spock. Here are some hieroglyphs of things that are kind of mysterious. Uh, they appear to be some kind of a high technology or tools used uh, in the ancient past. So the question becomes whether he was a master of uh, leverage and mechanical advantage or whether he was using some other uh, techniques. Uh, here's the magnetic flywheel. Kind of makes people wonder what he was up to. Uh, the uh, electronic surplus, uh, he's got variable capacitors and coils and different things. The, I heard Michael Kohler say that it would be extremely difficult to build these tripods by yourself and I agree with that. Another strange thing is this quarry device. I don't see how it could be used for any kind of leverage. Uh, there are three electromagnetic coils on it. Uh, the magnetic flywheel of course. Uh, one thing that I've noticed that I haven't heard anybody else comment on is the bulge in his belly. It uh, looks like some sort of a PMH, and uh, is he energizing his hat, uh, possibly energizing his whole body. Uh, this is his book, Magnetic Current. He was definitely a good scientist, uh, studied things in depth. Uh, he knew a lot more about magnetism than most uh, people do today. This is my version of the magnetic current symbol. It's a magnet held up to a flat line of an oscilloscope. And uh, it makes the symbol, and then you see if you move it up close, it actually shows the vortex nature of the magnetic pole. Uh, here are some perpetual motion holders that I made. Uh, this is Ed's invention. It's a very strange electromagnet. Um, a book in every home, uh, possibly a code book in my opinion. Uh, at face value, read it. It's just nonsense compared to the other things he's written. Um, I found a few possible code things in it. The first thing I found was every 16th word comes out Ed's, Ed's, money, money. Uh, I thought it was a code confirmation. It quickly fizzled out. Uh, the next thing I did was equal distant letter spacing. I did it on 16s in a grid so you could go down each column in case the start point was different. Uh, I came up with very rarely you get words that way, but uh, this is what came out of the 16th row in the first couple pages of the book. Uh, next I did some anagrams uh, with an anagram generator. Uh, title came out to that. Uh, the word bohemian. Any large words you find seem significant and that kind of relates to the Slavic region where Latvia is. This anagram is the uh, correct code key. Uh, then it might relate with R.L. Poole's work with the Secret Schematic, which is uh, fascinating and beyond uh, coincidence in my opinion. 
those line up that perfectly two different covers of his books and the magnetic current symbol hits those uh, points on the PMH perfect so possibly if you transparent uh, one page over in the next page that every other page is blank uh, you may get some kind of a uh, code to pop out there next is an anagram of the first 16 letters of the book and this one again big words significant both the words uh, very significant to uh, secret uh, stuff those of you I didn't know who Thoth was until I actually found that in an anagram generator and then realized how uh, it related uh, so that's all I've got uh, if anybody has copies of uh, Leeds Galnan's original writings and wants to email them to me I would not object to that uh, so thanks for everybody that's uh, working on this